Hello everyone. So the job I'm doing today is the ceiling on the van. Um, I've gone for the Evo Motion bamboo uh, roof panels, which are already pre-cut, pre-formed, saves a lot of hassle. Um, so I've gone for those. Um, we're gonna show you now where we're marking up for the down lights and obviously cut out for the max fan. Uh, this has to be done prior to the finish it uh, finish that you apply to these panels they don't come finished um, they come sort of uh, pre-cut and, and uh, ready to go obviously minus what you need to cut out for your own ceiling but then you have to varnish or whichever oil or whichever you, you wish to, to do to finish them off so I want to do all the cutouts first get everything cut out neatly etc and then once we've done that obviously get on to the finishing which will probably take a little while because these panels are quite big um, but I'll flip around now and show you that I've actually put the one panel up in place um, just to get ready to get up on the roof so I can mark the cutout I need from the uh, for the, the max fan accurately from the top of the roof. So this is the panel and you basically just pop the uh, you know, sort of panel clips in and it goes into the, uh, the original fixings if you had sort of a factory fitted ceiling in, in oh, it, it, it goes in use exactly the same fixings. Um, you have a joining strip for this section here for the where the next panel goes and so on and so on down the van um, But that's the, the sort of finish you've got the, the bamboo uh, Finish on this panel, which I think is lovely uh, It'd be really nice when it's all sort of varnished up, etc um, So um, I've got to get up on the roof now uh, Remove the fan and mark this cutout Well, I marked out when I was up on top of the roof there and I've come down now flipped this over and cut out the opening for the max air fan. I've also cut out the first um, hole there for the down lighter. So that's the front panel done. I've had to take, I think it was about 35 mil off this front edge here um, because it was, it's sort of, this is, looks like it's designed for you not to have a bulkhead um, in place while I'm utilizing the bulkhead that was there. So this would butt up against that bulkhead if it was too far forward so i trimmed that off flush so that will go flush now up against the bulkhead to the upholstery and should look nice there so that's the first one trimmed out and that's ready now for me to varnish i've got to varnish this on both sides so it's going to be a time consuming job obviously because they're big panels and i haven't actually got any way that i can set this up to do it all in one go so um we'll get on with the next one now. so that's the last hole cut there for the down light on the back panel and i've cut the three that I need in this one, um, two for the centre, I'm going to have one over the sort of kitchen area then, um, so I've cut those. So these panels now are ready to get finished up before they can be installed. So that's the next job now is to get these uh, varnished up on both sides, uh, a few coats to seal these against any sort of damp or moisture. So I'm going to get on with that, um, which is probably going to take me a while because it's going to be done in stages. So let's crack on with that next. Well, that's the panels in fitted with the lights and obviously the max fans around. Couldn't really film installing those because it was a bit of a nightmare. They're quite big panels. Trying to juggle them inside the van and set a camera up was pretty much impossible. But as you can see, they just go in and clip in to the existing manufacturing points there. There's your joining strip. Same as your joining strip down the front here. And it goes in quite neatly. Um, obviously, I've got to finish every bit off now and wall units, but that's all sort of clipped in place where it should be. Quite a nice finish, I think. Um, looks pretty good. Quite happy with that. And quite a good, uh, good easy job, really, out of everything. It saves the hassle of trying to work out how to cut all around, you know, and trying to sort of do it from scratch yourself, pretty much impossible anyway to get that sort of uh, finish on there as well you know but um, obviously you can see the varnish finish on there which is nice it's going to protect it all as well 
Um, I've also installed all the lower panels now so those are all installed and I've also done them on the back doors. They, so there we are up to date now we've got that all all the sides are all pretty much done and the ceiling's pretty much done now. Um, I've got to get on to do the kitchen units now next to sort of work out my layout for other things I need to install so I've got to get on and make those units and obviously the wall units to match so that's the next job but all in all quite pleased with that quite a nice finish uh, very happy so it's only a short video this time uh, showing you the ceiling panels that we put in place now with those bamboo panels from Evo Motion. I'll stick a link to their website in the description so if anybody wants to have a look at the panels they do actually do sort of cheaper versions which is like um the base cheap plywood if you wanted to sort of cover it yourself or paint it yourself and then they do um i think they do um, a better grade of plywood then birch plywood i think it is then and then obviously they do the um, the veneered bamboo panels which are quite a bit more expensive unfortunately but um there we are like I say, that's that done now. I'm on to building the units now, so we'll get a, a video up of that happening soon. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. I hope what the videos I put up actually do sort of help people with a bit of luck. I've learned a lot from YouTube, so I'm hoping that's what uh, what people are uh, getting out of these videos as well. Uh, and if you do like the videos, give us a thumbs up and a subscribe because it helps support the channel anyway. Thanks. See you in the next one. Bye now.